Today we are hosting one of the six flagship programs that Minister Pando launched on the 23rd of August 2021, namely the Charlotte Matreke Minister's Breakfast with Heads of Mission. This is envisaged to be an annual program for women heads of mission accredited to South Africa. The program will provide the opportunity for the Minister of International Relations and Cooperation to engage women ambassadors on gender equality and women's empowerment in initiatives. This Minister's Breakfast is also celebrating the historic struggles and sacrifices of South African women united in their diversity who proudly stood shoulder to shoulder against the twin evils of racism and sexism. We can confidently say that this occasion is a practical demonstration to the fact that we are firmly committed today more than ever to pursue vision of Mama Charlotte Matreke and many other generations of women. The participation of uh, women has been fundamental in the liberation of South Africa and thus must always be highlighted. Women like Charlotte Matseke, Albertina Sisulu, uh, Winnie Mandela, uh, Helen Joseph and many others who practically gave their life for the liberation of their people. There are many lessons we can learn from Charlotte Maseke, but this morning I'm focused on this one. The ideal of Ubuntu, which she brilliantly articulated in the following quote. quote this work is not for yourself. Kill the spirit of self and do not live above your people, but live with them. If you rise, bring someone with you. It is in the spirit that the U.S. system commits itself to advocating and supporting programs that promote economic justice and rights for women and girls. For 2021, we were really excited that it was named as the year of Charlotte Michael. So we are observing her under the different thematic months of South Africa in all her personality and glory. So for this month, September, which for us is our heritage month, we are observing the theme, the year of Charlotte Matlege, celebrating South Africa's intangible cultural heritage. The roles that women have played in history, politics, science, technology, leadership, religion, and even in our lives, have been neglected in popular records. So what we're trying to do with this breakfast, with your wonderful presence, is to draw your attention to the untold story of Charlotte Matlege, who was born 150 years ago. What Charlotte Matlege has shown is what an empowered woman can help her people achieve. She has shown that education for a girl child can transform a community and a nation. So, we decided, given what we've observed of her, even the work she did with boy children, we felt she deserves us to develop programs in her name. We have six flagship programs that we wish to undertake in the next three to five years. The first is the Africa Future Leadership Development Program, which is aimed at developing the values of African unity in young people, the values of integrity and selflessness through a dedicated mentorship and training program for youths on international policy and diplomacy work. We are going to target young people from different countries of the continent and invite them to this program. The second is we want to initiate an African Women's Leadership Award, which will recognize and award exceptional African women leaders 
whose achievements, whose mentorship of others, whose influence and contributions have advanced our continent's development in different sectors of society. The third is we're going to have the African Women's Leadership Training Program on Economic Justice and Rights. With this one, we're going to shape it to enable astute African women leaders the opportunity to apply leading edge knowledge, experience, and insight on economic justice and rights. We want to create a networking platform for African women leaders to share best practice and practical lessons from their experience in the field. The fourth is the Women's Trade Fair, which will give African women the opportunity to showcase products that they make and services that they provide to markets in the continent and worldwide. We also hope through the Trade Fair to raise awareness about opportunities provided through our policy initiative of the African Continental Free Trade Area so that women will learn that they can trade throughout Africa. Then, last is our fellowship for African women in diplomacy. We will seek partnerships for an annual fellowship program in training that targets African women in diplomacy. We'll provide, through our established universities in Africa, degree and non-degree awarding opportunities to the next generation of African women ambassadors. So we're going to begin to prepare women for diplomacy.